Ralph Irvin on Spalding Field, where Monday night the UCLA Bruins had a special practice after the bye week, and they had a special guest as well, six-year-old Cade Spinello, who's suffering from a brain tumor but was able to make it out and enjoy being a part of the Bruins. I think it was great to just see him smile, and it was great to see him run around and, and enjoy himself and have fun. Uh, you know, when you're that young, I don't think you always know what, what's going on. And, uh, you know, I've spent a lot of time around kids at his age that have been going through some of the things he's been going through and just be able to kind of relieve them for a minute is a great thing you know and we can offer that at any time so hopefully for Cades himself and his, his family today was just an hour of you know pure joy where they weren't worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow or what the future holds. You know it was an amazing day um, it's the kind of day that we'll never forget he'll never forget He's fighting uh, cancer, so to be able to do something like this, it's just incredible. You know, and for Coach Moore to give us the time, I mean, we weren't just off to the side. He grabbed Cade, and he was actually actively engaged in the practice and had a really amazing experience. You know, the, the, the places that this, such an awful thing that's happened, but so many amazing things have happened through it, so many good things. So we're, it's a definite blessing. What was the best part about coming out here today? Running and scoring a touchdown. Do you think the players were excited for you to score a touchdown? Yeah. Nifu is never ever give up. Today was so exciting. I just, uh, to be a mom out here and remember a year and a half ago where my son wasn't able to stand, have words, and run through that all those players cheering him on saying, Cade, never give up, never give up. It just, the emotions were huge. We just never know our journey. And there's a lot of good and hard. There's a lot of good in this hard road. And I just want to thank the team, the football team, the players, the coach. It's been a phenomenal day. It's meant the world to us. And to be able to represent Nigu, never, ever give up for Jesse Reese, who started it as a 13-year-old little girl. It's a blessing and an honor. So thanks so much. It's rare that it gets on such an open field and you can just let it rip and run and, and have fun and tackle and, and the ground soft and just being with the guys and, and them giving them the time. Every player knew his name and it was just, it was awesome. They're good kids, you know, I mean, they're really good kids and they're compassionate kids and, uh, and they are kids still. And so when they see someone like that, um, it touches them. And, uh, you know, watching while we talk, Luke, gain over there you know Luke's had his issues with cancer before so um, like I said these these are compassionate kids and it's just it's great to see them embrace the opportunity to make somebody feel better you know and not be self-centered and selfish and and be giving and and I think it's it's what they should do you know it's not like I'm gonna stand here and pat them on the back for it. it's what they should do it's the right thing to do but it's it's good to see Once again, UCLA wraps up a special Monday practice with a special Monday night guest, that being young Cade Spinello. And of course, for more information on Nigu, never ever give up, you can check them out online at www.jesse.org.